Hi, so in this video, we are going to look at a few things that you should check before calling an electrician for your electrical problems. There are times that you switch on your light and then light doesn't come on. And there are times that you plug in your iron or your fridge and it doesn't work. All right, so there are these few things you can do to restore power before calling an electrician. The first thing to do is that you look for your breaker box. All right, so actually that thing has a lot of names. People call it breaker box. It's also known as consumer unit. People also call it main switch. All right, so whatever name you know for it, I'm going to give a little description that will help you to identify what I'm talking about. So there is this panel as part of your home wiring. That contains two or more breakers. Actually, the number of breakers in your consumer unit will depend on the size of the installation and the number of different loads that you are using. All right, so this is an example of what I'm talking about. So for every good installation, there should be one of these. And this is actually what controls the whole wiring in your house. So these are the breakers that control the various loads in the wiring. Okay. And each of these breakers has a particular load or a particular number of loads that it is connected to. And so if any of this is off, it means that the particular load to which it is connected will not work. All right, so assuming you switch on your light and your light is not switching on. So the first thing you do is to come to your consumer unit and then open it to check if any of the breakers is off. All right, so as you can see, there is one breaker. The first breaker on the right is actually off. So you just reset it. You reset it by switching it on. Okay. All right, so for instance, one breaker is off, and you can see that the whole place is dark because that breaker is actually the breaker that controls the light in this particular area. And so when you switch on your light and they are not lighting, the first thing to do is to come to the consumer unit and then you open the cover so that you can get access to the breakers. Now, as you can see here, you see that the first breaker on the right is off. And so you just reset it by switching it on. And as you can see, the lights are on now. So if you switch it on like that, you wait for about five minutes and if it doesn't switch off again, then it means you are good to go. You have solved the problem. But then if you switch it on and within a short time, it goes off again, then you have to look for what the problem is. Another instance is when your socket is not coming. Sockets are the outlets in which we plug our irons, blenders, microwaves, and fridges. So for instance, if your fridge is not working, and you notice that it is a socket that is not working. The same way we did with the lighting circuit, you come to your switchboard and then make sure that all the breakers are on. And if there is a breaker that is not on, you try to reset it by switching it on. If you switch it on and it stays, then that means problem is solved. If you switch it on and then it trips again, then that could probably mean that there is a fault in one of your appliances. So you go around and then you make sure that you unplug every appliance that is plugged in any sockets in the house. And then after unplugging all your appliances, you go back to the consumer unit and then reset the breaker again. All right, so at this time, if it doesn't trip again, then the next thing to do is you would have to identify the particular appliance that has a fault that is causing the breaker to trip. And so you will go back again and plug the appliances back one after the other. So you plug the first one, And then you switch it on and the breaker doesn't go off. We have switched on the first one, that thing happened. This is the second appliance, you plug it in and then you switch on and the breaker doesn't go off.
All right, so as you are plugging the appliances one by one, the particular one that you plug and then the breaker will trip, then obviously that appliance has a fault. Most of the times when your breaker goes off, it doesn't mean there is a big problem or there is a serious issue. Sometimes a breaker that is protecting your lighting circuit can go off just because another lamp has blown or another lamp has popped. So in that case, for instance, resetting the breaker is the best solution to that problem. Some other times, in the case of the lighting circuit, maybe it's rained and there is a lamp outside or a lamp holder outside that water got into. And so that can also cause the breaker to trip. So after the rain, if you reset the breaker, everything works perfectly. You can do this on your own to correct the problem. Other times also, maybe you have a new picture frame that you want to nail to the wall. And you know, wires pass through this wall to connect to all these switches and the sockets in the wiring. And actually, wires can pass vertically, horizontally, diagonally, in fact, anyhow. And so if you nail through a wire, it can also cause your breaker to trip. All right, so next time your breaker goes off, you can try resetting it. All right, thank you very much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to stay connected. See you in my next video.